everybody back to the Independent Investor Channel. Very, very important to move out of 2022 and understand the progress that's been made by Aduro Clean Technologies. Before we get started, I'd like to invite you to the disclosures in the description. Uh, Aduro has um, entered into an agreement with the Independent Investor Channel to provide awareness content um, and compensate me for my time. So the details of those disclaimers uh, are in the description below. And before we get started, I want everybody to understand the 2022 was the year that Aduro to Clean Technologies was introduced to me. Uh, I've taken a long uh, share ownership in the company. Right now, it sits at about 17,500 shares, and I will be looking to increase my position. Um, this is not financial advice. Um, these videos are made to introduce companies that you may have never come across without the referral or some type of an awareness piece like this. Uh, to potentially provide you some insight on where the company is, what it's doing, and more importantly, where it is going into the future. Aduro Clean Technologies is uh, really focused on three verticals. The one that we're most intimate with at the current time frame uh, is their plastic upcycling with their hydrochemiletic uh, technology that they have complete ownership and uh, intellectual property rights over. Aduro Clean Technology is looking to solve one of the major problems on the earth right now, um, and that is the recycling of hard-to-recycle plastics, our uh, polypropylene, uh, polystyrene, and polyxyrene uh, 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 plastics, which historically have ended up going into landfills or shipped to other companies for a premium uh, for them to dispose and build up their landfills, and, and that needs to stop, and it will stop with some of the coming mandates uh, that are on the horizon here for 2025. Um, there has just been some uh, rigorous discussion on, a, on an international scale uh, with regard to entering into treaties and agreements with uh, companies and the amount of plastics being produced by those companies and putting a cap on historical production and then a potential tax uh, and uh, requirements for due diligence going forward in ensuring that a process is in place. And my friends, before I was introduced to the Aduro Clean Technology uh, opportunity, I was under an impression that I think a lot of people out there were under the same impression in that when your plastics go to the garbage, some of us are guilty about maybe throwing plastics into the trash and expecting that to go to the separating facility and actually end up being recycled uh, into making new products, guys, that could not be further from the truth. And when I learned about this, learned about the problem, learned about the uh, amount being produced, 320 uh, million tons of plastic being produced every single year uh, or being created, and with no place to put it, it's super important for us to take this uh, problem head on. Uh, now, paralysis is the current uh, process, and it has been used for a while, and that is, uh, in short, the process of introducing high amounts of heat to uh, deconstruct the molecule in a destructive fashion uh, with the expectation that you can uh, render some usable material on the back end. Where Aduro sets itself apart is that the renderings that they're able to achieve uh, on the material that's being produced is close to 85 and in some cases above 90 percent uh, usable product that can be used, whereas paralysis is uh, uh, seeking uh, renderings of about just over 50 percent, sometimes uh, in some cases 60 percent. So Aduro almost 100 percent more efficient in the application of their technology a very, very exciting times, but I wanted to share with you guys a, a couple pieces of uh, news releases that has just been made, really with the intention of number one, introducing their R2 reactor, which is complete. You're going to get to see it. Uh, I'm going to uh, uh, show this video to you guys and have Anil Jawar, who's the uh, chief scientist with Aduro Clean Technologies, kind of run us through a quick two-minute tutorial uh, on the R2 reactor that's just been completed by Aduro Clean Technologies.
Hi, I am Anil Jawar, Chief Scientist at Aduro Clean Technologies. At Aduro, we are working on the development of platform technology for chemical recycling of plastic called hydrochemolytic technology. It's a simple water-based process which is capable of upcycling plastic into high-value feedstock and platform chemicals to enable circularity. It's a unique chemical conversion process which could be achieved using uh, conventional uh, processing equipment. This is our continuous reactor system for upcycling of plastic into high-value feedstock and platform chemicals. In tank one, we have water and catalyst. In tank two, we have bio-based renewable in situ uh, reducing equivalent source. They are co-fed into the reactor using a high pressure pump. Uh, this is an auger to fill, fill the hopper for the extruder. We can feed in polyethylene, polypropylene, polystyrene, or mixed plastic using this auger into the hopper. And they are fed into the extruder. The extruder is used like a pump here. We increase the temperature of the plastic and push the material into the reactor system. In the reactor, the plastic come in contact with our co-feed and, and depending on the process conditions which are, we can adjust by adjusting the temperature or pressure or even the space time and depending on the process condition we get a, a different quality of the product. Once the reaction is complete, the material leaves the reactor system and flows into this uh, twin separators where we can maintain different temperature to get uh, the fraction, desired fraction. So depending on the process condition, we can get uh, high molecular weight uh, waxes or, or we can also get low molecular weight uh, hydrocarbons which are suitable for naphtha cracker feed. The non-condensable gases leaves top of the second separators and are collected. So this is in short our complete hydrocumulative process. So exciting times at Aduro and as we move into 2023, the R2 reactor is going to uh, pay dividends in its ability to demonstrate what has been a bench technology, third-party verified uh, technology from Aduro Clean Technologies through their hydrochemolytic uh, conversion process using lower than normal processes of, of heat uh, to deconstruct the molecules in a productive, more efficient manner. And Anil has just done a fantastic job of introducing you guys to the R2 reactor that's going to be brought home uh, to the newly expanded facility uh, in Canada. Um, they've got more space there. That expansion project took place over 2022 and is now complete and is going to pay off immensely when uh, customer interactions kick off in 2023, when they're looking to showcase this technology using the R2 reactor, um, which is a step up in volume and showing, you know, the difference in what needs to go into the monitoring of the process, but more importantly, the ability to kind of tweak the chemistry and allow for different renderings on the back end. Uh, Anil did a great job of explaining that, uh, how the different adjustments can be made um, to actually produce the desired product on the back end. Now, uh, I thought uh, Ofer Vikas, who's the CEO of Aduro Clean Technologies, took us out of 2022 in a fantastic way. And he set up the stage here for 2023 and what to expect going forward. And these will be the points of emphasis that I will be uh, earmarking. Because if you go back to 2022, this company basically says what they're going to do. And more importantly, they do what it is they say they're going to do. They have had marked progress here. And this company, Aduro, is an unknown company. Ask yourself if you've ever heard of them before, okay? This is a, a revolutionary company that the company, when they come out with announcements, it is important. And you need to listen because they don't come out. They don't hype their company. They're very busy. I, Ofer talks about working around the clock right now with all the initiatives that they have going on. It's very, very exciting times. And as they ramp up and get closer to those milestones of bringing on the uh, pre-commercial ready version of the R3 in 2023, it's going to be absolutely critical for us to continue to monitor this story.
So I'm going to drop you into the final comments of 2023 uh, from the CEO Ofer Vikas and let him explain the exciting developments in 2022 and what's to expect here coming in 2023. Hi, my name is Ofa Vaikus, and I'm the CEO of Adobe Clean Technologies, and I'm here to give you some update about our exciting news and then talk to you about plans going forward. So Adobe developed a technology chemical platform, and it can be applied in different sectors. And so what we do is basically taking long, heavy molecular chains and making them shorter and basically increasing their values. So our first application is taking renewable oil and transforming them into renewable fuels, advanced chemicals. And our second application is improving the properties of bitumen and heavy oil. And the last application that we are currently working on is, uh, of course, upscaling of uh, waste plastic. Basically, we're taking low value waste of plastic. It could be either a single stream or a mixture of streams. And when we finish with it, what comes out is a material that is very light and worth quite a lot. The process that we have developed can do it in a lower energy mode and it can take a little bit more contamination and the value of the product is much higher. And so that gives you a little bit of ability to perform well in comparison to our peers or competitors. So at the beginning of 2022, we promised to our investors to first and foremost put machine in the ground and second bring some partners to help us develop and continue the commercialization path so we're here at the end of 2022 and as you can see behind me the machines are uh, nearly complete as for our uh, partners we just announced that we've been selected to the shell game changer program we're super excited about it uh, we basically have the opportunity to uh, demonstrate Shell the technology's capabilities. In addition, we also took a massive project to increase our lab size. So the lab is due to be ready in basically the first quarter of 2023. And with that milestone, we are basically good to go and initiate our customer engagement program. If 2022 was uh, basically building the building blocks of our operation, where we have uh, developed a uh, demonstration unit for the plastic and the demonstration unit for the bitumen and the flash drum that is required for both units to sustain both units. So 2023 is basically the integration of those building blocks and moving forward and our intention is basically to host more customers, run more experiments and really expand our process towards the commercialization phase. 2023 is also dedicated for our pilot system is for ton per day units so those will be more of the semi-commercial commercial unit and we are working around the clock not just on the design of the unit but uh, demonstration the technologies to customers that will help us to facilitate it working around relevant grants basically amplifying everything that we've been doing in 2022. So Aduro has been recently awarded 1.14 million dollars by MITAC and NSERC both government organizations towards a research project with the Western University and the goal there is really to deal with contaminated materials and this is part of our commercialization program. But maybe uh, more importantly, it's a great way to meet new skills, young scientists that will join the program. The program will eventually host about 18 research uh, scientists. All of them will work on site with the key investigator, a professor at the university. And at the end of the day, the way we do see it is that all of them are basically potential candidates as employees going forward for Aduro. So the length of the project is three years and you can see how on that section we are really planning our growth through that program. So we're looking forward to meet those guys and to execute this project. So we're also growing our team substantially and uh, we have a really fantastic team that works through all this year 24-7 to design, build and execute those projects. And basically our team is uh, really hungry and uh, super ready to uh, towards uh, 2023. And so for Aduro, what a great way to finish 2022 with our partners, on our press release, really an exciting way to start 2023. So we've just heard from the CEO Ofer and we'll continue to engage with Aduro as the story and the company do evolve in 2023. 
They mentioned the partnership with Western. I think that's fantastic. He talked about that being a, a, a kind of a talent draw for Aduro. Just imagine how difficult it is to get these highly skilled positions. And here they are partnered with the very research and development that's going to be happening in conjunction with the Aduro uh, technology. It just very exciting times as they work both uh, angles of this. And this is just the one uh, vertical that we're covering right now with the Duro. We do have plans to cover the other uh, renewable oils and the bitumen upgrading as well. A Duro is a, a, a multi faceted company here, but there's too much to focus on uh, in the short term. And there's just been a lot of developments on the plastic upcycling and recycling with their um, uh, latest uh, announcement that they've been accepted into the Shell Game Changer program. I would be absolutely certain that 2023 is going to be dominated uh, with their research and development and engagement with the Shell Oil team. We will be intimately involved in the developments that occur over 2023 and beyond as we're looking to take this project into the future and really look to help uh, share the message in the mission and solution that Aduro Clean Technologies brings to bear for the world and for the recycling industry as a whole. Guys, I want to thank you for tuning in to this message. I want to invite you to subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments at the bottom of this video. One thing that you guys need to understand is that there are multi-million dollar investors that are engaged in this company as we speak. And if you comment on these videos specifically, those investors monitor the comments threads. And if you have a specific question for me, I'm glad to answer it. If you have a specific uh, comment or question for those individuals that don't get answered by the content that's coming through YouTube, just no problem. Ask those and those will be answered uh, by those groups. This is a serious company owned 50% by insiders. So you guys are in a very, very rare position here with the stock trading at about 66 to 70 cents on any given day. We are on the ground floor of a company right now that's owned 50% by the insiders looking to do the right thing in bringing this solution to mass commercialization uh, it, just in the coming years here. And 2023 is going to be an incredible catalyst year for Aduro Clean Technologies. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to the message and good luck in your investment future.